Good morning, everyone. Thanks for watching today. It's Sharon Davies um, here with Create with Sharon. I am an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in uh, downtown Winnipeg. Well, not downtown. We're on the west end of west end of town. And I'm just um, trying to get my video. There we go. So I can get it on my picture. There we go. Check out the hat. Isn't that cute? Yeah. So, to go grab some more sunglasses. I'll, I'll do that today. I'm heading out today, so I'll um, see what I can find while I'm out and about. So thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do um, the second card in my uh, Filled with Fun uh, card class. Um, I, I'm going to do, I might do a pop on tomorrow. I'm not too sure to do the third one, um, but we'll see. Um, so it's fun. I love, I, I bought the set and I think, why did I buy this? And then I came down here on, um, came down here on one day last week or this week must have been Tuesday came down here started playing with it and just like oh fell in love with it so fun okay so let's get started I can take my hat off because I'm makes me really warm so that's the card that we're going to be making today isn't that the cutest love those colors right bright and cheery okay so um the colors that I've used are um Poppy Parade and uh, Tahitian Tide. So Tahitian Tide is on its way out. And I just had a look at the new in colors and oh my God, yay. Yeah, so uh, Tahitian Tide is on its way out. So if you need it, I would strongly suggest you, you grab it quick because it's gonna go and it's gonna go fast. Okay, so I have my card base, which is five and a half, eight and a half, fold and scored at uh, four and a quarter and then I have um, Poppy Parade that is four by five and a quarter and that's going to be glued right onto there and I have a piece of um, designer series paper and it's from the balloon bundle um, it's from this paper right here which is lighter than air um, yeah I have a few packages of those I got a Got to use up, right? Okay, so first things first. Let's just get our layering done, and then we'll just get on with our our color. I did all the pre-cutting ahead of time to save a wee bit of time, but the cutting took, didn't take no time at all. So I actually could have done it on the live, but I wanted to keep it short. I have to go out today too. I have to go pick some stuff up for my crop which is coming up really quick um we did have a meeting and i probably told you that um on monday and we are getting together again on monday to work on some of the pillow gifts so exciting and there we go okay so now i'm just going to just put this to the side just to um I was going to say cool off, but to dry. And I left my pieces, my die cut pieces, on the table behind me. I'm just going to grab those. Put them right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this stamp set right here. So let's just grab that. So this is the bundle. So it comes with um, these stamp sets, and I did I used this um, stamp set on um, on Tuesday, and I'll show you the card shortly. And it makes a loud noise, and then we have the dies that actually cut out the different pieces, the wagon, um, the flags. This is the handle for the wagon, the balloons, the wheels, a heart. These are the I guess the wheel. Um, the hubcaps for the wheels, and um, this is for the flowers, for the um, wagon, some more flags, and this is for the balloon. I'll show you that. I use that one in the card that I'm going to hopefully do tomorrow. So, so let's get us started. So first things first is that we're going to stamp this cute. Oh, this this is really loud. Is it just me? Just the banging of the on the glass plate. So I'll just ink this up. I'm gonna grab my foam and stamp my image. There 
there we go. So now let's let's get coloring. I think I'm going to do the yellow first. So I'm going to use um, the dark daffodil delight, and I'm just going to just do the flames on the candle, and then they have these little pieces right here. And I'm going to color in. And that's all the yellow I'm going to use for that one. And now I'm going to bring in the dark um, poppy parade. And I'm just going to just do some highlighting. Top of the cake. And then we'll bring in the light and we'll just color in. I'm going to call it the icing, I guess. And I don't talk very much when I'm coloring because I have to focus, so I apologize for that. Oh, I can see. Sorry. Had my head in the way there. Oh, well. There we go. And now done that. Um, going to bring in the Tahitian Tide and do. I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the with the. Before. I'm just going to just highlight with the dark just a little bit under just a wee bit under icing just to give it a little depth and then we'll bring in the light and color it all in these colors look so gorgeous together okay so now I have my, um, I'm going to move on. I'm going to keep coloring my bows on my, so what I'm going to do is just the darker around the bow like that. I'm going to touch a little bit under here and we'll do inside. The bow right there. And then this bow right here. Is also colored in Tahitian Tide, so we'll do that. And you want to, when you're coloring, you want to, um, if you're blending, you want to make sure that you do it when both colors are are wet. That way they'll blend in just gorgeously. Otherwise, um, they'll take a, they won't blend as nicely. And you want to flick too. You don't want to, you don't want to color like a crayon. You just want to flick your pen. And then, oops, I just missed a spot here. There's a piece right in here that we're going to have to give it a little bit of a shadow too. Bring this down. I'm going to color the knot. There we go. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing with this little guy right here. We'll just color it up. So, what are you guys up to this weekend? Do you have any big plans? Do anything special?
think I might um, go down to the Forks this weekend. The Forks is like a um, um, gathering place down on the other side of uh, town there. I'm just going to, oh, this is dark. Feels light. I'm going to color the box right there. And we'll just highlight this. Yeah, that's some pretty cool, cool shops down at the Forks, too. Um, that, um, we go down every so often. Go down for the day. There's an antique shop there that Rick likes to go to. So we'll head to that. It all depends what the day brings. Who knows? Okay, so now we're going to bring in our um, mm, Poppy Parade. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to use the dark. I'm just going to just highlight underneath so it just stands out. And just down the sides, just like that. And I'm just going to color in go and now let's move on to the other bow right here so we'll color this in I just I just love the color I just I just so relaxing So underneath here we have um, another bow, so we'll, or more ribbons, we'll just highlight that. Now the class that I took, um, the Copic class I took, the girl, um, actually we were able to use our blends, which was really nice. She, ha she had three, three pens in her hand and she was constantly switching in and out, in and out. And I just, oh, cool. But I guess I do the same thing. Like I open one up, close one. Open one up, close one. And I just bring in the light again. And then I'm going to bring in my Tahitian Tide again. And I'm going to color my flag. So we're just going to just do the top. And do around these guys. There we go. And bring in the light and blend it in. There we go. Just bring this down just a wee bit. There we are. Okay, so there's the presents all colored. So now I'm going to just remove that and grab the die. And then we'll cut, run this through the cut and boss machine, the mini one. And I'm going to grab some tape because I don't want it to jump well. Mini cut and boss machine. Get this out of the way. So we have a plate.
plate number one. Then we have our plate number two. We'll put this piece on. And then we'll do plate number three. And we'll run this through. Sounds like there's a mouse in there, eh? One thing I like about the mini is that you can store your plates in the top half of the actual mini and store it away. So I don't know if you guys saw the video I did this morning of my the aftermath of um, my online class. Yes, last night. I mean, it's online. It's not even in the house. And it was, it was a gong show. It's a gong show. So there we have it all cut out. So now we have the wagon. We have the, um, I guess the wood slats. We have the flag, we have the wheels, we have the handle, and then we have, I'm gonna call that um, those um, hubcaps. I can't think of another word for them. I'm just gonna grab my minis for this one. And we're going to add a mini onto the back side of this wheel. I'm trying to get that centered, centered as I can. Oh, that's not centered. Now these are online ex ex exclusives only, so you only can purchase these. Um, they're not, I say you only can purchase them. You can purchase them online. You, um, they're not in any catalogs or anything like that. So I'm just gonna run a bead of glue right along here. And there's a whole, um, there's quite a few new um, online ex exclusives. Um, the Xenia. Oh, which one? The, uh, what's the other one? Um, the Magnolia Mood, the uh, Drizzling Droplets. They're all, all, all online exclusives. So you just go pop, go online, have a look at them. Um, there's new kits that are available now too. I haven't purchased any of them yet. I don't know if I'm going to. are so fun this is this is such a fun fun bundle I don't know what I was hesitating when I, I thinking, oh I need to buy one I need to buy one and oops. let's move this one here because it's in the way of the, the wood grain yeah they were just so cute so cute So all I'm doing is putting mini dimensionals on the back side of the wood grain. And then I'm just going to adhere this. Oops, come on. To the top of the wagon. And then I'm going to take the handle and I'm going to put the handle right here like that. And I'm just going to just add a wee bit of adhesive. I'm going to use my liquid glue for that. And just like that. And then this is going to go on to here and I'm going to add dimensionals on this one too because you know it's like a birthday birthday card so it needs lots of dimension and then since I'm not putting any bling on I'll put extra dimensions on it and then I'll just add this oh, this looks like Yes. 
right here. Okay, so now let's bring in our card base. So I'm going to grab my bigger dimensionals and move it to the back side. right about here and grab my wheels and I'm going just to slide them under just like that and this one just like that and this one off a bit. Let's move it up just a tad. There we go. And now we're going to have a piece of cardstock and I'm going to stamp it in. This one here I stamped it in the Tahitian Tide and I don't think it stands out as much as it's going to with um, the uh, memento. And we're going to stamp it um, using um, Celebrate. Nope, Loads of Happiness is what we did on that one. Let's just grab that one. But, um, there it is right there. Just flip this over, try and line it up, make it up, and we'll stamp this. Yeah, I think that looks better with the darker pops it out because it picks up from the the black, yeah. From the the wheels. Let's turn that over. Add a few dimensionals. And we'll add this right here. There we go. So there's the card for today. Super cute, easy. Lots of coloring. And there's the card that I did on Tuesday. So using the same bundle, the same um, wagon, and just changing out. I put the, the flowers in instead of the, the, the presents. So stay tuned. Maybe tomorrow I'll pop on and we'll do one more card using the, um, the fun filled bundle. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Greatly appreciate it. Um, today's Thursday, so I'm, I'm hoping to get on tomorrow, probably tomorrow afternoon. Um, so stay tuned. You never know. I will give you a 15-minute warning if I decide to go. Okay, so thanks for joining me. Greatly appreciate it. You guys all have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.